Hey everyone, welcome to SEC Fanatic. My name is Matthew Johnson. For those of you who this is your first time watching, this essentially just gives you SEC news, uh, interviews, just getting really involved with sports itself. And so, going on to our first story, um, since this past week it was Memorial Day, I'm going to, for the first time, take a step outside of the SEC and just honor the uh, the specific 10 athletes who were on Sports Illustrated, uh, the, these were the first 10 athletes who they said were the, uh, for, were, were, the, were veterans who uh, also played football. So just, or athletes, athletes in general, not just football. So athletes who have served in the military, these are Sports Illustrated, these are just the first 10 in no particular order. Um, we have Rocky Blear, Ted Williams, Yogi Burra, Joe DiMaggio, Bob Feller, Whitney Ford, Joe Lewis, Roger Steinbach, Willie Mays, and last but not least, Pee Wee Reese. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, not just to those athletes, but to anybody who has given their life, serving in the military, uh, athlete or not, we thank you for your service, and yes, happy Memorial Day. Belated Memorial Day. Okay, so moving on to the Player of the Week, uh, we are going to amend these player and make it players. So the players of the week are the three pitchers who helped Ole Miss beat LSU for the SEC Tournament Baseball Championship. These people are Ryan Rolson, Brady Figel, and James McArthur. And so here are a few stats on them. For Ryan Mc, or my bad, Ryan Rolson, he had a 6.1 IP with three pit, three pits, three hits. Two earned runs and six strikeouts. Um, Brady Feigl had 6.2 IP with three hits, one earned run, and three strikeouts. And last but not least, to round out Ole Miss's pitching was McArthur. He went 5.1 IP with five hits, no earned runs, and six strikeouts. These men sealed the 7-1 Victory as Ole Miss trampled LSU for the SEC Tourney Championship. Speaking of LSU, um, baseball may have lost, but they did gain possibly some strength as far as their football program grows. And that will lead us into our second story, which is Ohio State quarterback uh, by the name of Joe Burrow, has chosen to transfer to LSU. He is a six foot three, two hundred and fifteen pound quarterback. So he's just a, a a little bit skinnier than me. Um, his main reason reasoning for moving to LSU is just saying that he feels like he wants to start, uh, and that's the most common reason that um, all of the reports that I've found are saying is just that he's looking to start. And he didn't feel like that was going to happen anytime soon at Ohio State. His competition is going to be three other quarterbacks. So this should make a pretty interesting stir in the LSU quarterback race. And so we'll see how that goes once the fall gets here. Okay, so we're going to turn this over to our interviewee for this week. Um, it's a person by the name of A.J. Johnson, who happens to be my brother, so yay. Um, but he's going to be talking to you all and diving into the world of band and how that helps sports. Okay, hey, so we are here with my brother and Mr. A.J. Johnson. And A.J. plays in the marching band, so... Okay, so what grade are you in? Uh, well, I'm done with eighth, so I guess ninth. What is your part in marching band? Marimba. I play marimba. Marimba? Marimba. Okay, so what exactly, how do you fit into the grand scheme of band, of the marching band? Uh, it creates melody. Um, well, one of them. There's a lot of, it's kind of like a piano sounding of it. It's kind of 
we don't have like actual piano mm-hmm. so it's it creates the piano sound okay so it's kind of like what a piano would do for an orchestra yeah you do for the whole marching band yeah. okay what to you is enjoyable about playing in the marching band i like to um well i'm not in like marching but i like to see the forms okay of, like the band happen okay what do you what is going through your mind when you uh, when y'all are performing I just have to play all the notes right I guess are those notes memorized or yeah they're, they're memorized okay. we don't have music for this okay that look weird <laughs> so what are you looking forward to in the future for marching band ah uh, uh, I would like for our band to win an award maybe okay for your for the, you said for the whole band yeah. Okay. Why do you? Why is the marching band important to you? It gives me a purpose in life. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, cause, uh, it creates good worth ethic and moral in inner moral hygiene. <laughs> That's what you started. <laughs> moral hygiene. <laughs> We got moral hygiene. <laughs> you right. smell really good. <laughs> All right. Your morals smell great, man, and are clean and crisp. Yep. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, AJ. Okay. So this week's crazy sport is called chess boxing. Yes. Chess boxing. Just to clarify, it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, what it is, is players will play in these four-minute segments. You play, you start out, you play chess. So you play four minutes of chess. Then after that, they take the chess board out, and then they box for four minutes. After they box, they get back down, and they play chess for four more minutes. And then once those four minutes are up, they get up, and they start boxing. And this just goes back and forth until either... You get a checkmate or a knockout. <laughs> so if you like to be smart and think about playing chess, but you also have the want and the need to knock someone out, this is your sport, chess boxing, but I probably will not be doing it. It also is kind of key to mention that I kind of feel like you don't actually have to play chess to win this if you're a really good boxer you can fake your way through playing this chess match and just stalemate it throw all your pawns out there then just get up and one punch knock out this dude if you're a good boxer i mean muhammad ali could have won this thing easily i don't know if he would have played chess i don't know but anyway chess boxing Crazy sport. (laughs) All right, that's going to be all for today. Thanks for watching. This has been SEC Fanatic.